Hello everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy and we do DIYs with signs and there's tons of laughter. I am under the weather so there is no intro or outro today so my apologies. So we're going to jump right into it. I am taking these wood floor samples from Home Depot. I ain't saying go and grab like a hundred of these but I did grab two of them and they are great to work with for DIY projects. I am going to grab my scrapbook paper. This came in a little booklet from Hobby Lobby a couple years back. I'm going to trace that out, cut it out. Then I'm going to grab my Mod Podge and I'm going to put a healthy coat on there. And then we're going to put our um, scrapbook paper on top and I will grab my Mod Podge. Like it's like a rubber kind of scraper. And I'm going to smooth that out, get all of those air bubbles out of there. And then I'm going to let that dry and I will apply another coat to the top of it. That way our ornament lasts for years to come. I'm going to grab you guys since I've moved, I've been finding all this stuff. I had a subscriber send me this when I first started. It's like a little finger sander and it's so convenient. So anyways, I sanded off all the edges. I find my middle point. I'm going to take my drill gun and I'm going to drill a hole. I didn't want to hot glue a hanger to the back because I thought it would kind of fall forward if it was hanging from a tree. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to grab this Dollar Tree ornament, cut the little string off. And what I like about these ornaments are they don't have like holes in them. So it just says Merry Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and get my detailed glue gun. This is from Sherbonder and I hit all of those thicker parts on there so the glue doesn't come out from underneath. I'm going to grab some twine. I'm going to put some hot glue on the end so that it easily goes through a hole. And I want to note that in the um, hardware section, there's a three pack of twine and that twine is a lot thinner than the craft twine, which I like for certain projects. Then I tie it off on the top and this ended up being a really beautiful Christmas ornament. It's the perfect size. The um, floor sample piece is very lightweight and there's so much that you can do with them. But I love the Christmas vibes here. I love the vintage scrapbook paper. And then we have another one with another floor sample that's so easy. I'm just gonna grab one of my IOD transfers and um, all the IOD links are in my description box. I have been wanting to use this and did not know what to use this specific transfer on. It fit this little wood sample piece so well. So all I'm doing is taking the little scraper that it came with, rubbing it down onto my surface. I didn't apply anything to this wood piece. It is just the raw wood piece and then the transfer. Then I wanted something a little extra, y'all know me. So I grab my IOD stamps, I spell out joy, put some black ink on there, and then stamp that on the bottom. Just, I needed something, something more to this. And then I drill the hole, put the twine through, just like I did in the previous one, and you have yourselves a beautiful Christmas ornament, and it's so detailed, it's stunning. And then, if you take the sticker off the back, you can write a personal note. If you are gift giving this, that would be absolutely beautiful. You can put some dark stain over this. So tons of options for this one. All right, you guys, this one's easy peasy. They sell these at Walmart. I think they're about $1.50. They could have gone up since the last time, but they always have them at my Walmart. And I am just going to spell out dad for this one. It comes stained like this and there's like roosters, cows, a lot of options. I'm going to go ahead and get some white paint. I put my white paint on a sponge brush and then I tap it on. Then I will get my, um, that's actually a kitchen cutting mat that I adhere the stamps to. And I just take my finger and I press that down. And then if I don't get it all on there like I want to, I just very carefully place it back down and restamp. You can see I'm just getting that D again. I coated it with a little bit more paint. Make sure you wash off your stamps if you're using paint right away. Now I'm taking Dollar Tree leather ribbon. I'm gonna cut that down to be a little bit smaller. I wanted this to be a little bit more masculine, so I didn't wanna use just regular ribbon. 
So I get that and I'm gonna glue the ends together to make a loop and then I'm just going to glue that to the back. You can also staple it as well, but the glue and the leather held up very well. This is so simple to do. The kids can help you with it. And I think it looks very well done and very like polished for something that didn't take a long time to make. So check out your Walmart. Okay, we can't forget about our teachers out there. Thank you teachers for all you do. So I am taking this ruler from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut it at the six inch mark so I could get two out of them. Now I go back and forth with my craft knife just a few times and then I'm able to snap it in half. Now this part, obviously you could see some excess so I am able to just get the scissors and cut the remainder of that off. Now, both of my kids' teachers, are their favorite colors on their favorites preference sheet is pink. So I am taking these Arteza paint pens and I am just trying to add a little bit more of a personal effect to these. So I decided to paint the middles of them and using the marker was a lot easier than using a paintbrush. Then I do the neon pink for Everett's teacher love these paint pens they dry super fast arteza sent me these when i first started my channel and i you guys i'm telling you i'm finding stuff i'm using what i can and i'm glad i'm i'm getting back into my stash so after that i'm going to grab um my decals and i cut these out with my cricut i loved the bright white against the black and the pink it really stands out on these you guys can have your kids help you with these. They can be coloring the center part and then you will see we are gonna grab some wood beads and they can always help with that as well. They could also handwrite their teacher's name with a white paint pen, so that's an option. Now I'm gonna take some twine. I'm gonna tie a knot on the top. I'm gonna grab some three wood beads. I couldn't tell you the size of these. I always get like the variety pack. I'm putting it on the bottom of a paintbrush and then I am just coloring these in. I'm gonna do two of the wood beads in the matching color of the rulers and then one raw wood bead in the middle. I tie a loop on that so our beads don't go anywhere and a second knot at the top. And I love how these turned out. I love that I was able to personalize these. Now for the one, obviously you either have to drill a hole or you can hot glue it to the back. I just thought drilling the hole would be better for the beads. So this is how they turned out. I'm really excited for the kids to give these to their teachers this year. I think it's I don't know if I've ever seen this done as an ornament. So um, I love them. I love the colors of them. I love that their names stand out so much and they are so easy to make. And again, you can make them with your kids. Okay, so these ornaments are at Hobby Lobby. Y'all, there's like a four pack, $2.99, 50% off, $1.50, and they're great quality. I tape this one off with some painter's tape. Originally, I thought I was going to do almost like a wood sign look, but then I start painting with this red. I do two coats of crimson. When I take it off, I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks like a bobbin. We are turning this into a fishing ornament. So I grab my red paint and then I paint the top. I just um, cut out a real great dad decal with some permanent vinyl. And that's it for this one, you guys. I mean, you could put like a little fishy on there, whatever you want, but such a simple way. And if you guys do craft fairs or anything like that, these are so easy to make a lot of. All right, so using this same ornament, I am taking my cheetah stencil or leopard stencil and I am using Sandstone by Waverly. This is the most beautiful neutral like boho color. I want to buy it in like a gallon and oh, I should do a, um, a paint match. Anyways, I made this with a folder divider. It has been lasting me through bleaching, painting, all of that. Look at how beautiful that color is against that white. Then I'm taking a dark red, and I, am, I don't know what colors these are, you guys. I'm using my scrap pieces, and I love the color combo of that dark red and the sandstone. 
I'm going to make a really simple bow. I see LF Rustic. She's the gal I always share her TikToks in my videos. She makes these very simple bows. It is just this burlap ribbon from Walmart. You just pinch it together in the middle, tie it off with some twine. I just double knot that up. And it's a great way of adding a little bit more detail without going overboard. You see how just simplistic that looks? And I didn't feel like it was too much because we have the cheetah in the background. But I enjoyed making this one. You guys know I love that stencil and I will be keeping this one for myself. Now, these acrylic ornaments, again, at Hobby Lobby, I forget how many come in there, but there's a ton. And with 50% off, they were only, I think, $2.50. You take off the film. And yes, we're gonna go into the cheetah again. I just had to try it. And I am taking that same sandstone color, my stencil brush, and I'm stippling that on. Now, in a lot of the videos I watched when people making the acrylic ornaments, it looks like they use acrylic paint. And I think they do that because it has, um, chalk paint always scratches, is easy to scratch off. Acrylic paint is not. Because I was thinking, if I clear the back of this, then it's not going to be that beautiful translucent look anymore. Because when I have watched the people using acrylic paint, they don't clear it. So I just wanted to put that out there. If you guys know, let me know in comments. I love reading your guys' stuff. Then I take some black and I, this is my best friend's name, Erin. She loves leopard and cheetah. I was trying to do glitter, but the glitter vinyl did not want to work. So I just went with plain black. This also would have looked good with dark green. I'm going to grab some of the Dollar Tree um, leather ribbon. I make a little mini cheer bow and then I am going to tie it off with some twine. Now um, this ended up being so stinking cute. I can't say I've ever made a little cheer bow with the leather. And then I take another strip this leather ribbon is such a great way of making a more like upscale hanger, I guess, instead of using the twine. And I am just going to tie a knot off on the top for this one. Then I decide I'm going to do another strip of the black leather ribbon so that I could put it on the middle of my bow because I didn't, yeah, see, I was like, mm, no, I didn't want that twine to show. I just didn't think that it fit in right there. So I just cut a little strip down with my fabric scissors and I'm going to hot glue that to the middle of our bow so it looks more finished, polished. And I hot glue that directly under our hanger. So I just line that up. And then this turned out so beautiful. I wish you could get a different look at it because with the dark green background, you can't really see Aaron's name, but this was so pretty. I won't like, if I had more time, y'all, I'd be making tons of these in different colors. I uh, love them. Now we're going to do two more acrylic ones because I was testing them out. So this one with the chalk paint, I'm using antique green. With the chalk paint, I had to use two coats of the paint on there. Then I allow it to dry. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take, this is Cricut, I don't know if it's like a gold foil, again, using scraps. And I created this image in my Cricut, it says Vintage Soul. I grabbed the tan Dollar Tree leather ribbon and I'm gonna tie it off on, um, tie it in a knot on the top. I thought the leather added, not like a rustic touch. I don't know how to describe it, but I thought the leather was very fitting for this ornament and the color combo. And look at how gorgeous this turned out. Like I said, like I could, I could spend all day playing around with these acrylic ornaments because you can literally do like just married, you know, first baby. I'm gonna make um, one with Montgomery's handprint and it's gonna be so stinking cute. Now this one, the only acrylic paint I had out was um, the Imperial Red by Folk Art. I put a very healthy amount on the back and I think that's the trick. I did not have to do a second coat on this. I just did a healthy amount and then I let it set and I let it dry naturally. I didn't apply like the heat gun to it and it looked really good. 
after it dried i flipped it on around this one we're going to do a doggy print i found the dog paw on the cricut design space now you guys can do rub on transfers over this you can do stickers from dollar tree and you could use your own penmanship as well i go again with that leather um, ribbon and this time i'm just going to hot glue the two strands together on top I'm then going to grab some, um, it's like a sheer polka dot ribbon. I did a finger bow with it and I thought it added just a cute little touch to Momo's ornament. And Momo, for those of you guys that don't know, is my 17 year old dog. And look at how beautiful that red and the black look. Gorgeous. If you guys have like a company, these are, um, great for employees or to put your company logo on all right now this one using recycled pieces that we've taken off of projects you guys this was from a dollar general sign i am going to drill a hole straight in the back up top i'm going to string some of the thinner twine through here tie a knot up on the top you guys know you have tons of these pieces we've torn off projects and are just sitting in a bowl somewhere in your craft room so i was like let's let's get some of these and put them turn them into ornaments so i found these beads <laughs> as i'm taking things out of boxes and they are beautiful they are from walmart totally forgot i had these they come in different shapes and these beautiful wood colors and I'm glad I found them because I'm definitely going to be using them more. And I think they came in like a big container for around $6 when I bought them. Who knows? They're probably more now. And then I'm going to tie um, a knot off on the top, tie another knot above that so we have a loop. And then I am going to grab a um, black and red checkered ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do one of my finger bows. I do have a real time bow video in my description box and I walk you through how to do this finger bow again in real time. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to hot glue it. At first I hot glued it to the very bottom and then realized, girl, you just covered herd. So, um, no, that won't work. So I had to pluck that off of there and try and scrape that hot glue off. And I end up hot gluing it to the base of that bottom bead. And that ended up working perfectly. I also had to cut some of the strands off the bottom. And again, a great way to start repurposing the things that we peel off of those Dollar Tree, Dollar General projects. It's so stinking cute. I have quite a few of these. I have like a pig, a, a rooster. I should have made these in advance and put them in my booth, but this one is so adorable and the color combo is great. This one is gonna be a personalized fun one. This would be great to do with kids. This is a tag I got for 49 cents at Hobby Lobby. The tag came off really easy and then I flipped it around and I was like, oh, but Jesus, there are a lot more stickers on here but luckily they came off super easy so for the side with the writing i'm taking nantucket blue and i am going to just do one coat over it to cover the words this surprisingly covered the words in one coat i was super shocked i want to keep the outside um edges of it white after that dries, I'm gonna flip it on over. I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree rub on transfer and I'm going to kind of just cut that down to size. This would also be a fun one um, for kids to help make for like their moms or dads, grandmas, grandpas. And I'm gonna lay that on top. And again, just like that other transfer we did in the um, beginning, you just rub something on top of it. And then as you're peeling back, if you see that that rub on transfer isn't adhering to your surface, just place it back down and rub a little harder on that and just peel up as you go. And it will leave you such a beautiful image. And there's so many options at most Dollar Trees. Um, and then you could also use vinyl on this as well or use um, paint and a stencil. Then I'm going to 
apply some Mod Podge. Now I'm applying Mod Podge to the top of this because I'm going to put vinyl and I knew that that transfer tape, if I put it on top of the rub on transfer without clearing it first, it would most likely peel up that transfer as well. So I got some Mod Podge and then I put a quick coat on there, let it dry. Again, don't know the colors of these vinyls, y'all, since they're scrap. I do my niece's name, Ollie Mae. I'm going to grab some twine and I'm gonna tie that off. And then I'm going to just use one of those fun beads that I found. And these beads come in like different grooves, not grooves, different cuts. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but there's some of the beads have details. Some of them are plain um, stained ones, but I chose this one. She's definitely gives me a little hippie vibe. So I thought this was very fitting. Tie a knot on top of your bead so it doesn't go anywhere and another knot on top of that so we can hang it. And this one is done. I love that you can personalize ornaments. I rather have a personalized ornament than like a Christmas Christmassy ornament, you know, to collect along the way. Um, I think they're really fun to look at as the years go by and see how, you know, things change. Okay. Now this one, we're taking some of our IOD molds that I've made previously. If you wanna see how to make these um, resin molds, I will link some videos down in the description box. I am using Petticoat Pink by DIY. This is my first time using this color and it was absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to only apply one coat of that and then I'm going to let that completely dry for us. I have been addicted to using these resin mold or resin to create these molds. These are from IOD. Now I am taking clear wax and I'm gonna apply that first. I have been learning as I go, you guys, that if I wanna use dark wax, it is better to apply clear wax first. That way our dark wax is a little bit more movable for us. So, I always keep all of my wax brushes in a sandwich bag so I could just reuse them over and over again. I am taking this stencil brush and I am really gonna pounce that in there. Like I want that dark wax to get in all of those details so when I wipe them off, they're what pop out. So I just grab a paper towel and I'm wiping that down really well inside. And then as you can start seeing, all of that dark wax settles into all of the beautiful details of the flowers in her hair, her face. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. Excuse me, you guys. Now I'm taking one of these wood um, square panels from Dollar Tree. And I am going to take Dark and Decrepit by DIY. Now, I've never actually used this as a wood stain. And let me tell you, the stain color is so beautiful. I cannot wait to use this on one of my wood signs. I ended up finding it easier since I didn't have any baby wipes near me or a microfiber cloth to just use a paintbrush and then wipe off the excess with a paper towel. Now, since this is an ornament, we are gonna do the front and the back. Now, tell me you guys, are you guys afraid to use big ornaments like these? I have a girl, Christy Creates DIY. That girl will use some huge ornaments on her trees, but she has like 10 trees in her house. And then I'm gonna hot glue that mold to the top right here, or to the middle. Then I'm gonna grab, these are some, um, uh, stamps I haven't used before from IOD. I'm going to take that petticoat pink and I am going to dab that on to the stamp. Now, I don't know, whenever I use paint, I don't feel like I, I feel like I press too hard and then I kind of oversaturate the image. So it still came out. You could still see the details, but I don't think it's as clear as when I use like ink. Um, so yeah, any, any advice, let me know. Like I said, I'm new to the stamping in the molds and all that stuff. So I love reading your guys's advice on how to work with them. I took this ribbon. This is also from Dollar Tree. I thought it was very fitting for this piece. I'm going to hot glue it to the back. Um, 
and then this one is done i love how this looks you guys know i've been totally into the iod stuff lately it's very regal and fancy and i love it i feel like Teresa from our green acres would like have something like this on her tree you know what i'm saying and look at all of the details in that mold oh my goodness now we're going to do one more with the iod stuff i'm taking this dollar tree tag i am going to take some recycled book pages and i am going to cover the back with it so i'm just going to quickly trace this out with my book page cut it out and then i was like oh you have two book pages here so i just covered both of them so one's ready to go for future diy and I'm going to hot glue the top first. Whenever I use my detail glue gun, I like to do it in sections because the glue does dry pretty fast. So I just glue the top first. This is a great way of using recycled book pages if you do like any book DIYs. You don't want to throw away the paper. This is a great way of recycling it. Now I'm going to take Cashew by Waverly. We're going to do two coats of this. I'm going to take my uh, one of my other stamps. I will link this stamp set down in the description box for you. Again, I always have my um, IOD and DIY links down in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and put stone gray on this. Oh my gosh, you guys, the details in these stamps never cease to amaze me. Oh my gosh. So I just use my finger, press it down, make sure I get all of the details. I lift that up and voila, look at that. Oh, <laughs> stunning. Now I'm taking my mold. I'm using Prairie Gray. I had somebody say, can you please use more colors? And to be honest, you guys, I like to use a lot of these DIYs in my own home. I don't sell everything. So it, this is kind of like the vibe I've been going for this entire season. So just use these as inspiration. You could change up the color to whatever you want. I just want to be able to use what I craft in my home. So if it's not a color that I'm not like going to use, most likely I'm probably not going to do it unless it's going in my booth. So prairie gray it is for now because this is going to be an ornament for my family and then i cannot find my waverly wax that's cream so i decided to take the cashew and i am doing a very dry like brushing of the cashew paint to hit all of those details then i try to take one of the stamps and this is a curved surface. I tried to take this and it just mm, did not do well here. So you can see I lift it up. It looked wonky. Then I got the, the brush and I was like, nope, nope. That's where you, you messed it up even more. <laughs> so I grab the cashew and I just get, I just paint the entire middle of it. I always say everything happens for a reason. There's nothing you can't fix. So I hot glue it to the center of the stamp. Then I'm taking this Dollar Tree transfer. It's kind of like the part where there's a butterfly. There's some cursive. Then I take a number five rub on transfer from Dollar Tree because there's five of us in our family now. And I rub that in the middle. And that's what's so fun about rub on transfers is like just have fun with them, layer them up, make them your own. And of course, I needed to be extra. So I grabbed some of this costume jewelry. I got this from a garage sale. And I am going to hot glue the start of these beads. Kind of, I was trying to cover the hole in the tag. So I hot glue them to that base. Oh, sorry, my throat's starting to <coughs> get itchy. And then I'm going to uh, hot glue the two right on top of that together so they don't separate like that. And mm, I love how this one came out. This will definitely be going on my tree. It's so regal looking, so fancy like me. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not fancy. Um, but look at all of that beautiful detail and how we layered all of those on top of each other to create such a beautiful ornament 
I love it. I hope you guys got super inspired by this video and I enjoyed being here with you today. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like, and make sure that you comment. I appreciate you all spending time with me. I appreciate our live chats and I will be back here again on Tuesday. Bye.